All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Taylor Donich. I'm with the company Nihongo Master. I'm the founder. Now, Nihongo is the Japanese word for the Japanese language. So the company name literally means Japanese master. We're online social language education. Obviously, we're teaching Japanese initially, but we won't stop there. Additional languages will be coming down the pipeline. So if anyone here has been trying to study a foreign language on their own, they've possibly bought Rosetta Stone, or they bought books, they bought audio CDs to listen to in the car, and then about eh, a week or so they threw it in the trash or basically it's gathering dust. The problem with those activities is it's very, very uh, siloed. It's very isolated. You're doing it on your own. It's very tedious, and there's a lot of attrition, meaning that you're basically going to stop the activity after a while. How many people have actually heard, oh, I tried to learn Spanish, but you know, I kind of forgot it or I dropped off, things like that. What makes us different is that it's a social experience. We leverage social competition and collaboration, and the way we do that is you're scoring points, you're getting achievements, you're ranking against other people, you're forming teams, you're working together, and through that effect, we make learning a language entertaining, more engaging. As a result, our students are sticking to their studies longer and they're learning languages faster. So let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. This is a screen of me being logged into Nihongo Master. This is my profile page. You can already see some of the gamey kind of techniques there. I have my point score here on the top right. This is allowing me to rank against other learners. Uh, you can see some of the achievements that I've gotten through various activities on the site. Maybe I learned a certain set of lessons or maybe I did some, I answered somebody's question. For example, this is an achievement called Sleep is for the Week. Stay logged into Nihongo Master for 24 hours consecutively. I did it, obviously, because I made the site, but other people are surprisingly getting this achievement, too. This is another fun one. This is Drill Baby Drill, and that's called, it, and uh, that's if you complete 100 drills in one day. That's supposed to be our little Sarah Palin kind of motif there. So <laughs> there's a lot of gaming elements to it, right? But it's also very social. So if I scroll down, you can see other people's activity on the site. What lessons are they reading? Are they doing well on their quizzes? Are they doing drills? Are they asking questions? So it's a very social activity. You can follow other people. They can follow you. They can ask questions. You can answer them or vice versa, and you'll get rewarded for that activity. Okay? Language instruction, we power it with very, very powerful, top-quality language instruction. We have a classroom with over 150 lessons. We're releasing new lessons weekly. So let me give you an example of one of the lessons. This is one of the first lessons where we actually start teaching the very basics of Japanese, the Japanese vowels. So it's called hiragana, right? So you can actually scroll down and start to see some of the... Uh, the letters that are in place. We'll even take it one step further. We'll actually show you how to draw the characters in Japanese. And as you get into further, more advanced Japanese, that becomes even more complex. But we walk it through you. That's something that our competitors don't even do. And then there's also the vocal and sound aspect. We have a native speaker that does a bunch of recordings. You can play it. I don't think anyone. Anyway. Uh, oh, you can hear it. Awesome. So you can hear her native speak, and then you can record your voice, play it side by side, and perfect your pronunciation. And then at the bottom of the lesson, there are people out there, there's uh, other students who are reading this lesson and basically leaving uh, notes, on maybe possibly tips on how to improve learning the content, and then other people are voting for that feedback and, make, and scoring points for that. So that's one example of a lesson. Here's another lesson that provides some more illustrative work. We, we definitely provide lessons that have pictures, sound, video to help bring uh, the, the lesson quality up. Uh, so this is another lesson, and you can see we have uh, grammar rules, vocabulary, pretty standard stuff for learning a, le uh, a language. But the, another next really powerful part on um, our, our uh, system is the dojo. Now, this is adaptive drilling. This is drills that will drill you on what you've learned in the lessons and then adapt to how well you're progressing through it. So if you are progressing very well, if you know the content, you're answering drills very uh, uh, correctly all the time, then we won't ask you so often. But if you're struggling with a concept, we're going to drill you even harder on that. So for example, on this, uh, if I answer it incorrectly or correctly, I'm going to get feedback. This is correct. I score points. My point value went up. You can see this was worth one point. So when, when did I answer it incorrectly or correctly? Uh, here's another question. I'm going to go ahead and answer something incorrectly. It's going to say, oh, you got it incorrect. I'm going to have to ask you this more often and often. So these drills adapt to your speed and to your pace of learning. So that's one of the powerful aspects of our site. Uh, we also have a very powerful dictionary, other tools. Tons of people are using this site, over 6,000 registered users. We've turned on our revenue model, and the community continues to grow and be very, very passionate about this project. Uh, our community is so passionate about it, they've already started asking, when are you going to start teaching other languages? We've got requests for French, German, Italian, Yiddish. And so that is down the pipeline. We want to teach English as a secondary language, start deploying that out into uh, other markets, and uh, we hope to be really successful there.
can correct your pronunciation, correct your grammar, plus our Japanese instructor is in those events and also assisting as well. So, good question. You, sir. Uh, you mentioned you have a revenue model now. How do you charge for the service? Very, very good question. So we have a freemium model. So we do have a basic set of lessons to get you started in reading Japanese, writing Japanese, and constructing simple sentences. That content is always available. If you want to go a step further and get access to all of our lesson content, like I said, we release new content every week. Uh, that is a, a really affordable monthly subscription charge. Right now we're charging $12 a month. And that gives you access to a couple even more cool advanced study features such as creating custom vocabulary and kanji study lists and sharing them out with people. Um, that way you don't have to wait for us to create new content. You can actually produce content to uh, drill yourself on and share that with others. Yes? What level of proficiency can you, can you achieve uh, both com compensationally, mm -hmm. uh, grammatically, so, good question. We, because we do take the classroom approach, we teach you from the ground up. We teach you how to write, we teach you the grammar rules, and you're actually interacting, you're actually uh, uh, practicing with other people. So our goal is to make it so not only are you conversive with Japanese in both conversational as well as polite situations, but also be able to write it and read it effectively. So we teach you from the ground up. Um, so we're also covering all those unique culture points and things like that. So you might talk differently if you're talking to a teacher or a boss as opposed to maybe a peer or a friend or a sibling. So we cover all those rules. And these are, these are rules that are very important in everyday conversation, no matter if it's Japanese or even other languages. But other, other solutions out there, whether it be Rosetta Stone or other solutions which are tailored specifically for teaching like business versions of the language, they don't cover that. So we try to do an over-encompassing approach. Now with the content that we have right now, uh, you can learn pretty much beginner Japanese, but like I said, we're rapidly on a, on a content release cycle to make sure that we get to that point where you can become completely fluent, and that's our goal. And there should be no excuse because we also have a very optimized mobile experience as well, so uh, you know, if you're on the train or if you're in your car or whatever, parked, don't drive, uh, you, can, you should be able to do your studies there as well. Yes? Keyboard, how do you handle the the special character. So many of the operating systems already have alternative uh, input methods, so you can write Japanese in Mac. Oh. Mac is very easy, Windows 7, Windows 8, they already have input methods for that. Um, even iPad and iPhone also have that, so we instruct you on how to set that up and, and get that going for you. Here's in the rear. How are you uh, marketing? What's, what's your marketing? It's fantastic. We don't have a big marketing budget. Uh, this month we spent about $1,000 on marketing. That's not a lot. We leverage our community because social is a very important aspect of our business. We really try to build community evangelists. And these are people who are very passionate about our product. They reach out to their various forums and they spread the word of our product. One of the aspects that we do is that if you do subscribe, we send you a shirt, I send you a letter, I send you stickers. And just from that, we've been able to build up our collection of community evangelists who help spread the word. And that's been way more valuable than any Google Ads campaign ever. Go ahead. Do you see yourself owning a different category or subcategory than Rosetta Stone and in some ways both of your both of having both of you coexist or are you basically in the We are the destroyers of Rosetta Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that every company, right? We are the destroyer we are the absolute disruptor of the industry. No, I mean Rosetta Stone has her own learning method yeah. and it's effective in some ways, but it's gonna only take you so far. We have our own learning method, so we have two different ways to approach the problem, but in the end, we're all about spreading language uh, knowledge, creating linguistic diversity, and I think that's a very promising thing to spread in the world. How, how are you defensible? What, what prevents Rosetta Stone from emulating what you're doing? So Rosetta Stone has been around for a long time, and their entire hook is the immersion method, right? That is their model, and the immersion method is, basically they show you a picture of an apple, and, they, and you hear the foreign word for an apple, and about 5,000 times, you're gonna make that mental connection that that word means apple. Right? And for them to have to adapt and change their teaching model to this would mean them basically saying, oh, we were wrong about our method. So it would be very disruptive to their existing business model to try and switch to something like this. Any other questions? And wait for it. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs>